Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well inshallah. Today I am back with another reaction video. I know it's been quite a while since I've done one of these. I feel like recently I've been coming across quite a few struggles in my journey in Islam. When I first reverted to Islam, I didn't really come across any hardships, let's say. Everything was really plain sailing and a bit worryingly easy, you could say, I guess. Of course, it was hard to learn how to pray and tell my parents that I became Muslim. But once I got past all of that, everything's been plain sailing, alhamdulillah. Until recently, I found myself kind of battling in my mind about the hijab not particularly about taking it off. I haven't been at that stage at all where I even consider going outside without it on, but I feel like I've been kind of reminiscing, you could say, about the past and how my life used to be and how simple things would be even if I wanted to nip out to the shops. I wouldn't have to think about dressing modestly. You know, things I could just throw on before would not be okay to wear now and not saying that I was really immodest back then but even say a t-shirt I wouldn't be able to wear that now or I have to make sure that my hair is covered at all times going out even going out to the bins outside I'm always really mindful now that I have to be covered up and I can't just be going out like I used to do. I've been finding it a little bit tough you could say recently and I was scrolling through TikTok, I came across a video by Yakin's Institute. What some of the sisters were saying really resonated with me and I felt like I wanted to share this with you, I wanted to watch it with you. I haven't seen the full video, I'd only just seen a little clip on TikTok. There's been a lot of videos circulating recently of people saying that you shouldn't wear hijab if you do this, you can only wear hijab if you've mastered this step in Islam and sometimes it gives you doubts as a hijabi and especially as a revert we have so much to learn. I feel like these videos can really put you off as a revert because you just feel like there's so much pressure, there's so much pressure from the Muslim community to be great and you know take on this new faith and then you also have the pressures of maybe your family looking at you thinking is she taking it seriously? When is this kind of phase gonna end? So you've got a lot of pressures coming from all angles and I think that we need to be mindful of this. I've seen a lot of videos, as I said, going around telling people, even from sheikhs saying that you shouldn't be wearing the hijab if you wear makeup, you shouldn't be wearing the hijab if you do this, that, the other. And that is not the case at all. Islam is not supposed to be this hard. Islam was revealed over many, many years. So please, if you are a new Muslim or even a born Muslim that is trying to do their best in the religion and, you know, take a step towards modesty, take a step to wearing their hijab, please do not let these people put you off. Let's watch this video together and inshallah, this can help you. Allah doesn't really care about the scarf on your head. There are worse things than not wearing hijab. Can you hear that? Can you hear the whispers of your nuts? The whispers of your inner self? Allah does care, or he wouldn't have commanded it. The challenge is proof that Allah chose you for this, and he doesn't burden the soul more than it can bear. Belittling disobedience is Shaitan's favorite tactic, and it's a sign of arrogance. Remember, Shaitan rejected Allah, so Allah rejected him. As long as you can wear it whenever you're ready. You don't have to do it right now. But when will that be? Are you guaranteed next year? The next month? The next moment? What if death comes before you wear it? Shaitan loves to delay you in good deeds. Is your intention real or is it muddled by your desires? But you're so much prettier without it. Yes, you are pretty without it. That's the point. Whether you see it right now or not, you have a natural beauty gifted to you by your creator. The hijab is meant to cover the beauty so you can honor and appreciate it as he commands. If you feel unattractive in hijab, Perhaps that very struggle is what brings you closer to him. Girl, you're acting like you're religious, but we know that's not true. Hajab isn't all or nothing. You can work on your other obligations while fulfilling this one. 
Chaitanya will always use your insecurities and the perception of others against you. Your hijab is always closing doors for you at work. You might as well just take it off. I mean, but is this true? Every bit of money you earn and every title you achieve is only by Allah's will. One of the first points that was made there was Allah will not burden a soul more than it can bear. And I think this is something that we really need to keep in mind. And it's so easy to just get really down and just, you know, fed up about situations that you're in and how difficult things can be. But always remember that he is best of planners. And we may think that we know what is best for ourselves, but we absolutely do not. He is the one that created us at the end of the day. Also, they spoke about there that the hijab is closing doors for you at work. Now, I actually have experienced this firsthand. I was in a job for three years. I became Muslim as I was working there. If you followed my journey, you will know that I wore the hijab as soon as I took my shahada, that was it. I tried to change as much as possible. And Alhamdulillah, ever since that day, I have worn it, even though there has been struggles, as I mentioned. Recently, that job just turned around and they got rid of quite a few of us there. And we were given one month. So in that one month, I'd been applying to hundreds of jobs and in most of the job applications, you've got to fill out a form and one of the questions is, what is your religion? Now, before I was Muslim, I used to just put, I think I'd put nothing down and yeah, never had any issues. Just before, and another thing I want to mention is before I became Muslim, I, I don't want to sound big headed, but I never had an issue getting a job. Any job that I applied to and I went to the interview, I always seem to get it. Not to be big headed, you know, I've not been like doing any like crazy career moves or anything. It's all been pretty like low level work that I've done, but I've never had an issue getting a job. Now, fast forward to being Muslim, most of the companies aren't getting back to me. I'm just being ignored. Now, I know obviously I cannot say that that is because I'm putting down Muslim and I'm not sure why they are turning me down. Maybe my application isn't good enough, but I just haven't experienced this before and I just feel like it seems to be a bit of a coincidence. Also, there's been a number of interviews I've attended. Now, as I said before, interviews I'd been to, they always went well, alhamdulillah, and I always got offered the job. But since wearing the hijab, I think I've been to five interviews and each one of them rejected me. And this has really knocked my confidence and just been making me question everything in life. Now I know that them jobs obviously are not for me and Allah is the best of planners and Alhamdulillah, I did go to one interview. It was a really last minute interview and I got offered the job, Alhamdulillah. It just keeps going round in my head. I think it's possibly because I am Muslim and I'm obviously Muslim in the hijab. Maybe these companies before I turned up to the interview, maybe they weren't sure that I'd be turning up in a hijab and then when they seen me, they've turned me down. But again, I can't speculate because I don't know, I have no proof of this, but yeah, it's been getting me down recently and I feel like it definitely has some part to do with it. I, I think so anyway. If advancing in your career means disobeying Allah, is it truly in your best interest? What is a title and a little more wealth compared to an everlasting home in Jannah? That's another thing as well. So I'd applied to quite a few agencies and one got back to me and they warned me that there was going to be alcohol involved. And I turned that job down because I don't want to be making money that involves anything haram. Even if no company was willing to take me on and they were the only ones, there was no way that I was going to accept that offer. I just don't feel myself anymore when I wear each other. I just want to take it off. But who are you really? Are you defined by your worldly self or your soul? Hijab is hard and there are many struggles along the way, but with every difficulty comes ease or barakah or reward. The struggle between the two is what makes you a servant of Allah. And there's no title more honorable than that. Once you have made that decision, Allah puts so much ease and barakah into every decision moving forward. Your feelings towards hijab may fluctuate, but being a Muslim means trusting that Allah didn't give a blanket commandment without knowing what's best for your soul. Allah prescribed hijab out of his abundant mercy and wisdom, beyond what we can fully comprehend. 
Hijab might be someone's most difficult jihad or inner struggle, but the reward for this act of obedience to Allah is resilience in this life and infinite reward in the next. I thought that video was so, so beautiful. There were so many lovely points made by the sisters. I hope that if you're someone that's struggling with your hijab or someone who's considering putting it on, I hope this has helped you even slightly. Just remember that everybody has struggles. It does not matter what stage you are in your hijab journey. Just make sure that you're praying your five daily prayers to Allah. Ask him for guidance. Ask him to make it easy for you. And to anybody considering putting it on, I would say just do it. Try not to overthink it because the more you overthink, the more barriers you're going to put up in your head. And I promise you, once you have it on, it's really not that bad. I know I've talked a bit today about my struggles and how I've been feeling recently, but I feel like I've just been having a bit of a struggle with life in general. And that's okay. I trust in Allah's plan. My advice to anybody that is new or anybody that's struggling really is to find some nice hijabs to wear, find some nice prints, there are so many prints available at the moment that are really fashionable and try and have fun with it. If you're wearing hijabs that you feel comfortable in, then it's going to give you more confidence and you're going to feel happier wearing it. I'd like to talk about the amazing things that have happened to me since wearing the hijab. First of all is you get respect from people, whether that is women or men, you feel like you get respect. Before I wore the hijab, the amount of men that felt like they could wolf whistle at me try and touch me, loads of crazy things happened to me. Even when I was only 15 years old, I remember I got wolf whistled at by a couple of men in a white van. Now, since becoming a hijabi, I have not experienced any of this in the slightest. People are more respectful to me, I feel. They notice me as a human being now and not as a piece of meat, which is really disgusting to say, but that is how I felt before. And I think that in itself just proves to you the reason behind the hijab. I think that alone is enough reason to wear it and enough proof that Allah knows best and he created us at the end of the day. It is a commandment. It isn't something that is just your choice whether you want to wear it or not. It is a commandment. So we need to try our best to please him. Like the girls mentioned there as well, you can wear the hijab while working on everything else. You don't have to only wear the hijab as a last step once you're doing everything else perfectly because that's not how it works. I really hope this video has inspired you even a little bit or given you a little bit of confidence. If there's any sisters out there struggling, please feel free to message me. My inbox is always open. You can reach out to me over Instagram and I would be happy to do my best to help you. If you have any videos that you would like me to react to, please just leave a wee comment below and inshallah I'll get round to watching it with you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, inshallah.